Good morning or afternoon, evening, everyone. So, DPS, welcome back. And yeah, so that's my chair. It's squeaking again. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share to friends and loved ones so we can get this intro over with. Check my Discord down below. You can comment or message me there. I am planning to update that announcement uh, message, I guess. I'm gonna add in some of the links the games that i've played i don't know just uh, just like throwing it out there like hey guys check these games out you know it is what it is the free games of course going back to the game what were we at where were we at what was the effects of the brunette nun asked me to accompany her to the forest late at night once if i let her go da, 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 da. did we not try that it was like late at night and then you know or maybe i just messed up i think it might have went really late at night so yeah i should find the missing kid i still don't know where where some of these people are like where's the arms trader the girl the gal she's missing so i think the best course of action is just to check on the elf i know what kind of fucking train of thought led us led us to the elf but i'm cur curious extremely so and that's the thumbnail it's over everyone look at that it's over she's sitting right at us it's like Oh, hello there. Well, hello there, Missy. Okay, uh, why are you... S yeah, I was about to say, why is she smiling like that creepily? You know, planning how to kill me? She grins, but after a few seconds, she shakes her head. Well, that's a relief. You notice the elf grow sad just as she's turning away from you. Why? Yeah, I was about to say, oh, she was, so she was smiling because she... I guess it was a sense of relief that, hey, we're still alive, we're here, we're here to visit you. But now she's sad, maybe because of the situation, the predicament that she's in? Who the fuck knows? She takes a breath and says nothing. Come on, things aren't so bad, you treat yourself to some cherries, you got treated for your ailment, even free yourself from a ghostly forest spirit. You don't understand, that was a powerful druid and we haven't freed ourselves of him. I agree because the spell she has, it only protects this room or tavern. So it doesn't really, it's not like, it's not like it, it goes on and on for the whole continent. You know, she's not safe still. This is a small fucking room. The elf starts thinking, especially in their world where there's no internet. Come on, oh my god, what the fuck are you gonna do? Druids have long protected the forest and the elven peoples from woe using runic and ritual magic. For those who don't know what runic is, it's runes or old language that contains power within them or summons it because of old of its ancientness. I don't fucking know, man. It really depends on the power system. Could be the power could be coming from eldritch gods to you know forest deities. I don't freaking know, man. They draw upon nature itself for the strength to do so, and I just it just got answered. It just get my question was just answered by this elf named Elaine. I also forgot her name. Thank goodness uh, that her name is displayed and you know, like unlocked. I guess I thought that we'd already face his most fearsome magic. That was his most trivial magic, but the truth is that the druid doesn't even need to use his full might to deal with me or with you. It's simple enough for him to track me down with a locator spell, then a few gold coins and hordes of brigands will come running here the very next day, lured by the promise of easy, easy pickings. Would you take that deal of money of gold? Sleepyheads, ladies and gents, those who are watching, would you do it? Catch a fine elf like this and get a lot of money out of it. Mmm. Mmm-mm. That, that does make me curious. Damn. I hate magic. The elf remains silent, brooding. You know a lot about druids. I was no ordinary girl from our town. I was born to a family of court co courtiers. Courtier what the fuck is that word? And I always knew that I was foreordained to become a lady in waiting to her majesty, the illustrious sentient Santifel. I thought it was sentinel. You know, like usually that's like either a high rank or a low one. It really depends on the world and the universe, you know. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Because I've read a lot of like comics from Western to like Japanese. Okay, let me just let me just break it down, yo. You know, Western comics like Marvel, DC, and some other indie fucking comics out there, you know. Um 
what else? Webtoons? Chinese comics, which is pretty much manhua. Usually wuxia, not wuxia, 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 what the fuck? W W X I A. I hit the fucking table. Pretty much uh, those novels, all right, and their comic versions of them. Was it called Donghua? I might be wrong. We were required. To, we were required to know not only the rules of court, but also our history. Oh, come on. I mean, listen, in the modern world, in any country that's trying to be first world, develop all the whole shebang, right? Sleepyheads, ladies and gents. We go through this secondary education, all right? In a sense, that, that, that doesn't, that, that is not de degrador, uh, degrading or en anything like that. Se it's just what it's called, secondary education. From, in, from nursery, kinder, prep. Elementary, junior high school, and then you're, you know, you're like, your senior high school, whatever. All of that has some part of history in it. So come on, you know, you can, even if you tell, even if you tell me, oh, we've been, we've been alive for 10,000 years because we're elves or from the beginning of the earth. I mean, come on. So there's still a summation of history either way. So it's not really a big deal. Or either, or either that, you know, you could just straight up go to college, be a historian, and your job would most likely be usually related in museums. Yes, I'm yapping. I'm also reading it, but I'm not reading it out loud, you know, in the game. Museums, libraries, you know, being a librarian and shit. Um, an, was it an aqua, aqua, not an aquifier. That's a different thing. It was just another way of like someone who like, Finds artifacts and then uh, preserves them. Forgot what that job is called. No, not digging dinosaurs. That's different. That's an archaeologist. Yeah, I forgot. But yeah, I mean, usually that's where it leads to, you know. So it's. But I get it. Because it happens, right? In in IRL royalty where they got like um insane level. Of education because you're like you must know history blah 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 it's like the roman empire back in the day you know where where if you want to be someone of a, you know want to be a general or whatever you know you, you gotta have i keep saying you know as if you know you know but you know <laughs> i said it again what a funny word you gotta know your shit and that's what pretty much we're just copying what happened before you know it's like here's the educational system do for for generals for leaders and we pretty much did that and now we know that it really it still depends on the individual and on whoever's teaching the instructor it's like a halfway thing i'll be honest both sides need to put in the effort for you know to bear fruit in education that's pretty much it why am I getting so heated about education where well, how the fuck did we sideline to that because she mentioned history ooh Going back to the game, correct. Wait a minute, it's already been here? Doesn't he know where you are? I don't think so. While in that form, he doesn't search people out in the same way that hunters track down their prey. Good, what do we need to do? Spill the bean, sister. Give me the gold, give me the skill point. Seems like she's afraid. Only what of? Trusting someone or revealing her plans in front of a human? You watch the elf's internal conflict helplessly wondering what side will win out. Her instincts warning that humans are wretched and vile creatures in whom everyone in her tribe saw only evil? Or her common sense reminding her that humans have already saved her life twice, mind you. She shakes her head, banishing extraneous thoughts, then gives you a forthright and resolute look. Look. In my town. From whence I came, I'm kidding, whence I fled, I left a trinket behind, a small piece of jewelry, a pendant, I must obtain it. Where is this elven town? Yeah, how am I exactly, how am I, how am I gonna find this? Google Maps? This doesn't even exist here, Elaine, you crazy nut job. Well, endeavor, well, endeavor to make it so that you don't have to go there. Sorcery stuff again? Not this time, I have a plan, and if all goes well, you're just going to be taking a short stroll in the forest. What about the pendant? Uh, yeah, how will that help, and what, what does it look like? It's not ordinary, it's all about the stone that's inside the pendant. 
We don't know exactly what manner of stone it is because no one's ever seen anything like it. Then what the f okay, this is a this is a botch plan from the beginning. It's been theorized that it's a corpore corporealized piece of time that came to us from another world in the time of the last great mages war. Several thousand years ago. What? A piece of item? What even is that? And who theorized this? The druid? Oh. Nobody knows about the pendant, especially not the druid. The stone was first found by a distant ancestor of mine. Oh, it's a family secret then. Well, that's not bad. His son having inherited the crystal- Okay, that's too much lore drop for me, Elaine. You gotta calm down on that one. The properties of the material were highly unusual. For instance, it was impossible to destroy. Ooh. Adamantium? Wait, that's man-made. Never mind, scratch that. Experiments are described in detail in the Chronicles of Narnia. They attempted to shatter it to destroy it with water. They burned it with fire. The only way to destroy the gem is to throw it from whence in from this wait what to destroy it or throw it from uh, from where it was created. Mount Doom dun 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 and then Sauron comes out like hey that's my ring. I got all the bling you fuck around with me. I got the 10-inch cock ring. What? Something else was successfully established besides its ind indestructibility. Somehow it can absorb any energy that acts on it. Also, see, because sometimes I do have videos where I talk a lot and I shit you not say some unhinged shit randomly. It is what it is. I'm sorry for that. So I suggest, you know, you lock in, maybe... You know, with my head, with the headphones and everything. Do not play my my videos in public, unless you're ballsy, you know. But hey, that's a uh, that's a uh, that's you know, it's kind of I don't know, man. Yes, only much more powerful. When they dropped it in lava, they later hid it, burying it in the earth. After a while, everything in the area they buried it, burned down. Whoa! This stone is this an infinity stone? What is this? Is this a chaos a chaos emerald? What is? Yeah, what? A Dragon Ball? But if it's a secret, why tell me about it? Perhaps this will seem strange to you, but I've seen more good from you in a few days than I've seen from many in my town over their entire lives. I don't believe that you'll use this knowledge, use this knowledge for evil as many would do. And then the evil druid? I don't really, I can skip this because we've, we know about, you know, we, mo we know about the evil druid, my man. I suspect he already has made them, but if we don't take this chance chance now, he'll get to he'll get to me for sure, one way or another, sooner or later. Maybe you could try to run away if I secretly lead you through the city's walls and out the other side. Then, the elf shakes her head. That would only make this his task easier. While it's true that I have enemies here, all the fangs and claws of such human monsters are sure defense. Against the great bear's paw that is the druid and his devoted elves. You nod, even the pacifists and peacekeepers of the world would have difficulty arguing that point. But what if he does decide to drag you out of here by force? Are you willing to put the whole town in danger to save your life? He won't decide to. It's instilled in us from our childhoods that humans are the worst of all creatures. That we must not trust you, must not make contact with you, and that we should fear you. Oh, so he won't try. So what do you, yeah, what do you need from me, woman? I still have close friends and relatives back where I fled from. So connections, hmm? Okay, sure. Let's see what to do after that. Okay. I'm skipping this. Wait, sacrifice a rabbit. Wait, wait, wait. We skipped a little bit too much. Who knows with you elves? The world of magic has its rules. No matter how strong charms might be, they're invariably broken or dispelled by the strange power your priests bear within themselves. By sanctity, even illiterate village priests are capable of nullifying- Oh, so the priest is still mixed in the main plot or side plot. Alright, I can fuck with this. We can bounce with this. What are you getting at? And there's a plane over my house right now. It's like- what are you getting at? You want me to move a nun in here with you so that the druid can find you with a spell? That might work, but there's also another way. The pendant will need to be taken to priests. So it's gonna be blessed by God's power. Alright. Yeah, how is she gonna... It's not the village. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I'll send a message there with the aid of a pigeon. So I have to catch a pigeon. Gosh darn it. 
I also have to talk to this guy, okay? But right now, is it, they're the least of my worries because they're dudes. I'm sorry to say, but they're dudes. I've done this. I've killed the reptile. I just, just can't find her. The other person. Ooh, we have a lot of quests, my man. Wait, is this the end of this? That's crazy. So... It's still locked. What the fuck, man? Well, I don't know. Where should we go? I'm not even joking. I'm actually... I don't know where to go here from, from this point on. So... We... Let me check this real quick. Welcome back, everyone. We're gonna talk to the man himself. Oh, woo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I kill him? I already got the tempered steel shit. Ooh, we don't have anything for this one. I'm gonna have to buy something from him, I'm, I think. I hear fireworks. It's not good. These are expensive as fuck though, so I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Chief. I got charm. The last thing I want to do is instigate the guy and he transforms to a werewolf and bites my dick off. I have a question. What do you know about werewolves? Uh, about werewolves? Well, supposedly they're people who transform into beasts when they feel the need. Shamans, you know, sorcerers of all kinds. But why is it that you're interested, my friend? Oh, I'm just curious which category of them you belong to. Me? Why would... Because you two are a werewolf, but there isn't a full moon right now, and... Lad, how much have you had to drink? I was about to... S With a grunt, the blacksmith pulls off a glove, picks up the coin, and turns it over a few times. And I was about to say... The, the hunter is wrong here. When we saw the trail, he was outside of it. The trail wasn't leading to him. It was leading to whatever... Whoever... Whomever, whoever was in, in the basement or cellar. I guess it was in the basement because it doesn't lead to the first floor of the room or house. It's, at, it's outside. It's attached. So it's a cellar. Huh. Hmm. Next time, don't drink yourself silly or else I'll call the guards. Oh, we can finally go to his house. After sunset? You're crazy, my man. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Say who's the guy sitting at the table in the corner. Who knows? Some sort of traveling merchant. We're due, to be honest. That's what I thought too. I forgot he got in law. So he doesn't know. He doesn't know who the fuck this guy is in his fucking tavern for the past few days. Just loitering around like some nobody. Well, he sells all sorts of goods. But for, for all of that, I've never seen him bring a caravan through the gate. Maybe he's a wizard. A wizard, Harry. Well, that's weird, all right. What is that he deals in? Okay, then. But uh, before we do that... Gosh, governor! What a bastard. Okay, let's bounce. Hallelujah. All right, let's see. I'm not reading that. Well, what are you waiting for? A driver. Why not you? I wasn't hired to be a wagoner. Relax, I'll drive. Jump in and hold on. I forgot we're about to get in this trade. And we might get jumped. You might have what we call a a gallop a gallop in, you know, like a drive a gal a gallop by, like a drive by, but they have instead of guns, they have archers and shit. Why do you need tavern helpers if the tavern is closed? For times exactly like these, so that I can leave with with so I, that I can leave it with peace of mind. It reminds me of song. I know my brain is jumping from one topic to another. I'm mm -hmm, sorry about that. I think it was, I think it was Kendrick Lamar who like, K dot, he sampled this one. It was like, I hope you find some peace of mind in your lifetime. I forgot about the title. Hopefully, I edit that in or just comment it down below, or maybe somebody out there knows. Besides, if everything works out and the tavern gets back up and running, then, then what? Your current assistant won't even be enough. I think so. We also need a pretty girl to carry drinks on the tables in the evenings, and people will start dropping in with real enthusiasm. Wouldn't you be worried about letting her loose in a hall of drunken men? 
It'll all be afraid to lay a hand on her once I knock the teeth out of the first once I knock the teeth out of the first person who dares to touch her. I doubt that any young townswoman would agree to such an arrangement. True, but maybe someone from the countryside will try her luck. Nobody would dare to mess with her, and I could set aside one of the rooms for her to live in. For her duties, she'd only have to wait tables in the hall in the evenings. During the day, she could do as she pleased. Sounds good to me, mi amigo. Alright, we're getting close. Be ready and keep your eyes peeled for them. Don't worry, tavern keeper. They try to be suspicious or move, move in, a, in a sly, snake-like manner. Hmm. They get a taste of my tempered steel. At last, you arrive at the meet. That was kind of cringe, though. At last, you arrive at the meeting place while it's still at a distance. You observe a wagon drawn by a pair of horses standing on the side of the road. Very sussy, my man. That's your wagoner and that's your guard. <laughs> In the driver's seat sits a cloaked man with a hood drawn forward over his head. A second man stands with his back leaned against the wagon, smoking a pipe. Suddenly, two more come out from behind the wagon. All are gird girdled, girdled with sheathed blades. A dagger peeks out from behind one of the wagon driver's boot tops. I don't like this. Should have only been two of them. Yeah, I was about to say, this is sussy. Bring in two other people. Clearly, they're trying to rob us. Daylight robbery, I tell you. The fellow smoking uh, the pipe. I don't give a shit, man. You're running a bit late. I was about to turn back. I see that you didn't do exactly as we agreed either. Who are those two? Oh, damn. Well, somebody has to load up the swill, right? We can't have you doing that yourselves. Oh, come on. Fuck off, man. Then let them get started. Don't get any ideas. You'll only get it once everything has been loaded into my wagon. Or else the deal is off and we turn around. How do you even make a U-turn with a wagon, my man? A G-Wagon. What, what if you trick us and make a run for it when we finish? Oh, he's right. We are packing a uh, one-horse-powered vehicle, you know? You know where to find me. I was about to say, um, they know his, his physical address. Can easily be found. But in that case, why ruin such a nice day with broken bargains? There's your swill. Check it. All right, let's see. Looks good. You can load it all up. Hopefully everything goes smooth. I hit the mic. I'm sorry about that. That's good, but I'm afraid we'll be okay. Yup. Look out. Dun, 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 dun. This guy ain't gonna look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna skip over, cut it, and we're gonna go to the battle real quick. Mm, you see this? Sleepyheads, read that for me. A powerful precision strike that deals 300 damage. Mm -hmm. The tar If the target uh, oh, has less than 150 HP, it's instantly killed. But I'm not sure how well this would work. Because that doesn't mean that it deals 300 damage flat. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, he got snapped out of existence, all right. It's over. It's over. Send him in. Send him. Send the other goons in. After making sure that the sprawled bodies have stopped twitching, you shift your gaze at the driver who's trembling in fright. It's a good thumbnail. This might be the thumbnail, sleepyheads. You can't. You're a gooner. Nah, man. No, 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 no. Let's see. Let's see. When suddenly drawn out resonate black. Okay, I'm not reading all that, man. I get it. They were fighting. I gobbled up these goons real quick. Pause. That sounded sussy. Get in. Hurry. Come on, man. I wiped the floor with them, man. We could absolutely wipe these two fools and get two wagons off of them. Easy money. Or they had more than four people or two other people. Damn it, they're going to catch us. We'll see about that. What the fuck? If I back it up, would it be fat enough? If I back it up. Be bam 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 bam.
Mm -mm. Why am I hearing Johnny Tess whip cracks sound effects, you know? How long is this? Holy shit! Uh, yeah. I'm not even kidding. How long? Is Holy shit! I'm right. I'm What's happening here? It's better not be a five minute fucking. Oh, there we go. Welcome back, everyone. We got back safe in the city walls and we're bribing the fucking guard. A bit light for such a commodity. It's exactly the right amount. To hell with us. Maybe the tavern should have just closed up its owner if such a. If its owner is such a. Oh, come on, man. Fuck off, man. You see, my good man, the people agree. So either give us a do or turn our, our rickety bucket around. All right. I can negotiate. I got five dolens, my man. How are we supposed? Wait a minute. Oh, we need one more skill point. How are we supposed to pay you more, lads? We hardly managed to save those pennies. Damn sellers charge exorbitant price for the booze. What concerns that of ours? What concern? The tavern reopening would be a boon to you too. Would it be so bad to drop in after a long shift and throw back a tankard or two? The wine's very good. How do we know that it's good? Well, here you're welcome to try some yourselves. Let's just do this quickly so that we have time to unload the others and have the tavern prepared by morning. Don't try to fast talk us. Fine, move your asses. But if the wine isn't as good as you claim, we'll be having another little chat. Guard, guard, guard. You can bring your whole fucking... Tropa, you know, tropa means like buddies or, you know, brothers or brother in arms, comrades or whatever. You know, that's just, that's just a Filipino word, tropa, you know, like, hey, that's, that's my guy. That's my homies right there. You know, you can bring your whole gang here. I'd fucking wipe the floor off of you, man. Hell, bring the governor. I chop his, I'm lop his, I'm lop his fucking head off real quick, you know. All right, let's see. I think we've had enough adventures for today. You are correct, Tavern Keeper. Thank you for telling me to stop this video right here. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm kidding, man. No kidding. I'm on the verge of collapse. That's to be expected. It's definitely time for a rest. Oh, and thank you. It was nothing. Maybe it was nothing for you, but I won't forget this kindness. Since the booze got delivered, things out to God. Things out to go a bit better in the tavern, Hunter. I won't have to charge you that much for- Oh, yes! Half the price? My man. Okay, that was worth it. 100% worth it. Amazing. Qu oh, we got people now here. We got people now. Hmm? We got people now here, man. We got people now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me check this shit out. Can we even go at night? Like, Welcome back, everyone. We I click on the monastery so you can see. And yada, yada, yada in the shadows of a tree. So we are gonna go help her. Alright. A brunette with clothes swad fig figure sneaking along the wall, constantly scanning her surroundings. Yup, that's her. 100%. That's a bingo to me, my man. Let's see. Are you allergic to normal greetings? Only when I'm greeting you. Shall we go? Yeah, let's hurry. After some time, you reach the edge of the forest. The enchanted forest, forest seems completely different at this time of night. It radiates danger. The giant trees swaying in the wind have their tentacle-like branch. Oh yeah, there are tree ants here, so we gotta be careful about that. Mm -hmm. The cold hand of fear grips her heart, but you can't retreat. Just a step behind you, the nun's delicate figure stands motionless. You can tell from her expression that she's af she's afraid, but she's behaving surprisingly be brave. Uh, probably because there's a man nearby to rescue her. But say, all right, man, let's not get let's not pump ourselves up to that extent. Well, you're, ouch, my voice crack. Well, you ready? Yes. They're moving. What the fuck? Yo, his eyes are twitching. What's happening? Could you tell me about the flowers we're looking for? It's called a Zabinis. Zabin Zabinis? What? what? It all grows only in forests and blooms only when the moon is full like tonight. And what's so special about it? 
One of the sisters says that it has singular properties, such as... I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, it's just an ingredient necessary for... The ritual. Yes. So why are you the one doing this? I accidentally lost a few petals that we had. I don't want to burden my sisters with finding replacements. So they are really close. They are a sisterhood, that's for sure. So that opens up their lore a little bit. That they are what we call actually, in some case or not, family. You lost them? Well, not exactly. Hmm? Okay, I accidentally smoked them, alright? Don't you dare laugh. Damn, she a smoker? No problem with that, lady. How could you smoke a flower? Well, the wine had turned out to be stronger than usual. I wasn't thinking clearly about what I was doing. But what about your sisters? Didn't they notice the smell? Where were they at the time? On the left. On the left? You mean they were beside you? Were they smoking it with you? Look to the left, you idiot. Oh. Oh, come on. These scrubs? Alright, let me just... Uh... Yeah, it is what it is. It's faster now because we're just we're just that good. All right, we even got loot. Oh damn it! Are you okay? Yeah. What about you? Aw, you're worried about me. That's so sweet. I'm all right. I wouldn't give me my enemies the satisfaction of wounding me. How far away are we? Not far. We're we're already quite close. Then why are we standing around? You move onwards, keeping a careful watch around you. After walking several hundred feet, a small glade speckled with shrubs. Oh, is this it? Let's see. Do I have to fight this thing? Sleepy heads. This might be the thumbnail. Suddenly, one of the closest bushes springs to life and swiftly extends its branch tentacles towards her, trapping her in its leafy embrace. Oh, we can fight that. Help me, hunter! I mean, done. Oh, what the? Come on, your your thing is already dead. Get out of here. But well, that was easy. The nun comes down and starts following closely behind you. With your sword at the ready, you make it to the outskirts of the forest. Here we are. We'll be home soon. We did it. Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just remembering. Now it's time for her to keep your promise. We still have a long road ahead, so tell me about yourself. All right. What do you want to know? How did you wind up with a witch? After being rescued from my pursuers as a child, I discovered that I'd fallen in with a gang of marauders. Damn, she's unlucky. My rescuers turned out to not quite be the knights I'd initially thought them. They murdered, they plundered, they did, they, you know, did their captives, alright? But me, they never touch. I don't know why, the ringleader didn't allow me to be abused, and for that, I was grateful to him. I was fed, cared for, alright, cool, he's a cool dude, I guess. And one day, the reckoning came. What happened? One evening, as I was strolling through the forest near a camp, I heard shouting and screaming. Oh, a man hunt had been carried out. Many had been killed on the spot. Some were hanged on nearby trees. The rest were tied up and taken away. Okay, so what happens? Did the witches come in and rescue you or something? I couldn't move. Why could no one hear me? But then someone's hand settled on my head. A voice said, Do not weep, child. They met the fates that they had earned, but your soul is pure, and you have a chance for redemption. Come with me. The witch. Interesting. She's, she's, I told you, the witch like, is not really bad, so to say. She's like chaotic neutral. Yeah, how did you get in the monastery? Hmm? You know how by some twist of fate I was one of the witch's students? That's where it all started. It had been one long evening of endlessly preparing potion ingredients after another. Okay then, who are now my sisters? We spent a lot... Each of us had suffered a loss and each of us wanted someone returned to life. Somebody beloved, yada yada yada. So then what happened? One day when a witch had gone out to the forest in search of some ingredients, we snuck into her room. She'd forbidden us. She'd forbidden us to go in there. But what's the pro prohibition compared to curiosity? While we were examining the room's contents, one of the ancient tomes, tomes on the shelf, suddenly blazed with a fiery red light and started to move by itself. We were terrified. Of course, in the witch's house, it wasn't uncommon for things to fly, but for them to do so on their own, 
It's crazy. We stood there and waited to see what would happen. The book simply toppled off the shelf and opened up. Okay, then the book stopped glowing. A ritual. The book described what I... So that's why the witch was like, you betrayed me. You can't be doing these rituals. They're like wrists and shit. On the whole, the ritual wasn't all that complicated. We gathered the necessary components over time, but it all went wrong when the witch began to suspect our plans. But why? Why is this... Mm. No, why even keep this from the witch? Yada yada yada. Wait, I'm like reading it. She was putting spokes in her wheel, so to speak. When it became completely unbearable, we decided to leave. Alright. So that's what happened. Go on. Uh, I doubt that. But how did you find yourselves in the monastery? Okay then. Wild boar, yada yada yada. I'm not allowed to say what happened next, but after making his acquaintance, we took refuge in the monastery. We needed it. And their parents. I was born in a remote village far, far away from here. In an ordinary peasant family. My, my mother died in childbirth. I never knew her. And when I was two years old, my brother was... Oh, damn! My god, what the fuck? Their lives are horrible, man. I know, especially hers. Father said that it was my brother's full fault for trying to protect his fiance. After all, the whole village knew that where, whenever the sorcerers came to take a girl for their sport, it was best not to interfere. In the end, I was left al only with my father. So, is she bounced? I think so. If not for an old lady who lived nearby. Okay, alright. She fed her. Alright. Wow. One day when I was five, my father came home drunk in the company of some woman. Right away, I disliked her. She had a cruel face and I got frightened every time she looked at me. Turned out that she was a hireling of a workhouse. Oh, that kind of house. She spoke for a long time with my father and I saw the woman dump 10 coins into the table. Oh, she got... Oh, a traveling carnival. My, what the fuck, man? Jesus, her father sold you to a workhouse. Yep. What was it like there? A prison for people who'd done nothing wrong. There were other kids like me there, kids that no one could be bothered to care about. Most were no older than 10. There was some... My goodness, she... This is like a documentary, man. She could be... We could make a fucking docu... Or a hit piece on YouTube based on her story. That's horrible. Yep, but most of the time we work... Harvesting the fields... Threshing the grain, maintaining the facilities. In the evenings, we'd perform handicrafts, shoemaking, leatherworking, saddlery. So, slavery, pretty much. That's fucked up. Or at least they got some kind of food, either way. And so, eight years? My god. No. That's. That's crazy. No, that's insane. Jesus, I see why she, does she doesn't really like talking about this. My goodness. I I can't... Like, I think she might have one of the worst... Life compared to other the other people here, you know? She, she, she went through it all. The whole fucking thing. The whole circle. The whole obstacle course, my man. And so when I turned 13, okay, she's still not stopping. Is this every like three years she gets traumatized by something? So she escaped successful. I don't know whether or not it was a good thing, but yes, I succeeded. It was on a night when the overseers were dead drunk, hiding from the commandment after the night inspection. I climbed out of a window in the garden and crawled through a hole under the fence at the outside. I was hoping that they wouldn't realize I was gone until morning, but I had no such luck. Half an hour after my escape, I was running through the forest. I could already hear voices behind me. So, did she... Okay, what happened here? A man's arms. A voice from behind him replied in powerful resonant tones. Yeah, I'm guessing she's a runaway. Look at her. Thin as a rail. Obviously, she's not running from the sweet life. Oh, this is the brigands. Okay, this is the, the people. Yeah, okay. I get it. He said, thanks for capturing her. We've been chasing her for half the night. Alright, people always had a bad opinion of workhouses. At last, he said, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that she's a runaway, isn't it? By law, she must be brought back. By law? 
Here's the deal, my dashing swashbucklers. You get lost while I'm still in a good mood. I think they won. It is what it is. The war swiftly slaughtered the hell. Yeah, they were drunk. What about the ritual? What is this ritual? To get... To revive someone? Let's see. Forgive me, but I can't... Oh, come on. Come on, lady. Come on. You're kidding me. Hey, what's with the sad face? Cheer up. Sure, I'm just... You're just the best. I don't know what I would have done without you. And she just bribed us like that. And we got another kiss on the cheek. So... Well, you wouldn't mind, would you? A little dimwit. Good night to you. Okay, let's see. You again? I have to make... Uh, I have to be completely sure. Who is it, father? What? Oh my... Mother-loving G. She's the werewolf. She didn't have those injuries from before. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not, I'm not capping. Check out the last videos. Mm -hmm. The arm stranger appears at the threshold. Looking at her, everything makes sense. Her entire body is covered in numerous scratches and shallow cuts. Your experience, Hunter's eye. It, my man, you don't even need to have a Hunter's eye. I could literally see you like... She went, she had a scuffle. But with who? The pieces are fitting things together now. Mm -hmm. So it was you. You certainly hid yourself well. Yes, sir. Don't even think about it. She doesn't deserve this. Sure about that? Come inside the house. See for yourself. Inside the monster's lair? No, thank you. The moon isn't full right now. She's not dangerous. I've seen just how not dangerous she is. That was an accident. She broke free of the chains that were binding her, but that won't happen again. Removing your hand from your sword hilt, you step into the house. The arms trader draws back from you appreh apprehensively, but the blacksmith motions to a chair. You judiciously decline, so he stands opposite you. Beside her father, the arms trader clings to him. Sorry, I was defending myself. I had a Yeah! No, we almost died. I'm not even kidding. She went up in on our face. She was about to rip our... Not our throat. Half our body. So... I mean, I'm not just gonna stand here like, yeah, kill me. That's insane. Also, arms trader, we literally avenge your mother. So you gotta, you gotta count me some slack when you try to kill me. You know, we were just investigating. You straight up hunted me down. So she says nothing. Guilty. She doesn't remember. When she transforms, the beast shuts down her conscious mind. Truly? How does that work? When a full moon rises, my entire body, body starts to hurt so severely that I pass out. What happens after that, I don't remember. I don't come to until around morning, somewhere in the forest or nearby the town. I make my way back, pretending to have been robbed. And how long has this been going on? It's very recent. Once we figured out what was happening, we resolved to chain her up before the transformation. But it didn't work. She broke free. Evidently, she came across you. You survive. Now we need to prepare for the upcoming full moon. I made a new chain, a stronger one. What if it isn't enough? I don't know. I have no idea what to do if that's the case. I yeah, I was about to say maybe we could use magic. I don't know. Knock her the fuck out. Use potions. But what then? Shackle her for all her life? I won't let you kill her. It may be that it isn't necessary. What do you mean? It's possible that there's a cure. Huh? What is this remedy? I don't know yet, but I'll endeavor to find out. In addition to that, we need an insurance policy in case the new chain doesn't hold up. What sort? I've seen what she's capable of. Capable of. She broke through the wall of the house like it was a curtain of mist. Is there really a force able to stand? How do you even... Wait a minute. How does he even say that to the neighbors and the guards? Like, I don't know. My house just fell apart. You know, like old wood and shit. You know what it is. This shit ain't... And they're going to be like, you're a blacksmith, my man. I thought you'd have a sturdy house. Okay, going back there. We'll find that out soon. We depart the house. I need to enlist the support of the vampire. But first, I should ask the priest how to cure a werewolf. Though hopefully, he knows the answer. I'm not gonna lie, I hated the the priest, but now he's he's 100 so helpful solving these cases. I'm not even mad. It's amazing. 
Let's see, what do we need to do next? Trail of Doubt. Okay, that's the main quest. We could now ge uh, cash in, you know, to the arms trader. There's like three of our contracts right here. Okay, so we tried to sleep and he's, si he's still sleep deprived, my man. Welcome to the club, Hunter. To the ha More than half the population is pretty much, or more than that, sleep deprived. So welcome to the club, brother. I should have talked with him. So he was saying, like, as you can see if you read that, it might be the doll or something. It's curse or some shit. I mean, we don't have any contracts here. Yeah, we have nothing. So I just checked the notice board, everyone. I cut a little bit of that. Uh, there's nothing right now, so we're good. Tavern work? Oh, wait a minute. Calm down, everyone. Give me the bread. Give me the bread. So we're gonna buy like three of them. We're just that loaded, you know. Uh, what else? I'm just preparing for the next video because I might end this video right here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I still don't know where the fuck this kitten is. I should find the missing kitten and take it back to the peasant boy. I I don't know where where it is. I'm not I'm not even joking. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you, thank you for watching, clicking on this video. You know your views. No, honestly, yeah. Even if you just click on this and I get a view or two, I'm like nice. I keep on going. I keep on pushing. That doesn't mean this is the only game I'll be playing, as you can see from my channel, right? I, I try to like diversify the visual novels. I try to play some other games sometimes. You know, maybe it's just a gameplay or a playthrough. You know, just to showcase a game. And if people want me to play more of it, I'll play it. If not, well, at least I, I tried it, you know, and showcased the game. Like, hey, here's, here's the features of the game. Maybe want to check this out. It's free or whatever. Yeah, thank you for clicking on this video once again. See ya. Bye. Good night. Oh.